Hi everyone! Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome. Today we're going to do a little, um, a fun little project. A no brain project. That's what I'm in the mood for. First, as usual, a little show and tell. This is the latest that I whipped up from my um, mixed media um, master board as I went each step of creation and it was quite bright so I toned it down a lot. It was quite bright and contrasty so I toned it down a lot and came up with these three little collage sheets called tickets so that's in the shop today we're going to make scrappy scribble flowers and it's going to be quick and easy made up a bunch of these yesterday took about I don't know 40 minutes but first, a little show and tell. My latest shopping excursion. I went to Joann's last night because I had, you know, I'm always in bed thinking. And I often use this flower and stamp it in colors and fussy cut it as, as it is this way, which we're going to use it today in a different way. And then I realized, you know, I don't have any background embossing folders. I would like to try something doing that with a fussy cut flower and I don't have any um, all my embossing folders are kind of Victorian vintage <laughs> and I, there is one I have in mind that I want that would be kind of whimsical to work with this but um, it's not in the store so I thought I'll just drop in there and see what's new and I walked out with these three for only $12 so I was happy about that <clears throat> because I really wasn't intending to shop this week. So, uh, these are the scrappy flowers and I'm going to make one little project today. So what you'll need are some stamps or doodle. I do not doodle. I chose three st three stamps. I'm going to talk about my inspiration here in a minute. So I chose three stamps. Where did my main one go? This one. This one. And this one. You're going to need some scraps. Let me get them here. And I chose all kinds of things. In, in, in keeping with the inspiration, which is what I prefer to do as best I can, which we all do, as best I can, I stuck with papers that resembled her scribbles. But of course, you can do this with your any paper, your scrapbook paper, any paper. But as I said, when I'm using an inspiration and I'm going to post her blog, I have I have this 
these pinned on Pinterest. I'm going to post a link to the blog. Her, um, she also has a YouTube channel. So I'll post both and then you can look at the original inspiration. And these Jelly Print Digitals again are from Penny Rose Journals. Uh, Jelly Print 24 Digital Collage Jelly Prints. So that's what you'll need. And a pair of scissors and some glue and whatever you would like to put in the center. Um, I used my little button die cuts for some. I used circles. And then when I went back to revisit her site, I realized that she was popping a button in the center of hers. So, I'm going to show you some inspiration here of what I already made. Uh, my first thing I made, I just made a little tag on some book page. I am going to probably whip up a little bunch for my daughter's collage book and give them to her. I, in honor of Valentine's, I took some of the red papers and made a little heart. As I was going through, I was thinking that I might make one of my first thoughts are always note cards. So I was going through my little tiles created from last week. And how cute would that be on a little note card? Three by three on the front. And then I just started, <clears throat> I spotted another one with some green in it. And there's another little ATC card for sure. Um, and then I thought I might make a little tag and pop some down like so. But in the end, I think I am going to make a little bobby pin clip. So I have these are my ones that are glued together, and these are some of my cuts that I still have to assemble. So I'm just going to grab some scraps here and sh quickly stamp on the back. Now, what I have been doing, at first I used black. But here's another tip. Use the color of ink that you have a lot of or that you don't like or that you do like. And then if you don't like the way the design is if you decide not to use it as this pattern, you can still use it as this pattern. It'll work a little better with my solid here. Let me show you. So as I said, I often use this stamp. And when I want to make a card or something, and I want to put, <clears throat> sorry, some flowers on my card, 
on a pattern paper. I often use this stamp because I love this flower. So, use a color you have a lot of and don't particularly like. Or use a color that you do like. Ooh, that still had something else on it. it. Looks like black. Use a color that you do like, and then you can use your store your little pieces, and then you can use it either way. So that's a tip. So that's all I did yesterday was. Stamped on the back. This is, a, I'm probably going to put this under Scrap Buster. And I am sticking with my inspiration. So let's get started and I will chat about the inspiration. Oh, first, look at these delicious cookies my husband made yesterday. Oh, you're also going to need some buttons. If you want some buttons. Some I just put a little dot in the center. He likes to bake. Usually it's bread. So lately, we're still in Christmas mode, which kind of has to end. <laughs> but we often bake a lot in the winter, um, especially on those cold days. So I usually choose three recipes and then he picks one to make. And I'm down here happily cutting out flowers and he's upstairs baking cookies. And I, I didn't know what I was going to get until I went upstairs, but they are delicious. They taste kind of like baklava. Okay, so that's the stamping. I'm going to spare you the fussy cutting. And I'm just going to make a little bobby pin clip and talk about the artist as I go. So the, my inspiration was from Peony and Parakeet and She's from Finland. She actually does have peonies and parakeets, it says on her blog. I know I am going to get her name probably wrong. Hi B. Irola. Irola from Finland. She's an amazing artist, is what I discovered. I have these, I had these flowers pinned on my board on Pinterest for quite some time. And on those days when you just want to have fun, and not think too much, because the day before I made a book, it was a scrapbook type book and that took a lot of work. It, well, it's much smaller, but I made four signatures. I'm using my jewel it for this button. I made four signatures and ended up only putting in three. And then I think what I might do is share the inspiration and make a mini, mini example with the fourth signature because <laughs> well, the video where I saw the book, I thought this might look nice on the back. 
and I'm going to put that there and the flower on top. But first I am going to put my bobby pin in place. And as you know, I'm, I kind of moved on from doing paper clips, hidden paper clips, because I don't like the bulk. So I use a bobby pin instead. So anyway, she's a wonderful artist. I think you should check her out. She's still writing on her blog. I'm going to link you to the post with the um, flowers, but she still has a new post on her blog. And it is delightful. Um, her collage art is wonderful, her paintings are wonderful. On this, when you go to her blog, you'll see the latest blog posts and um, If you scroll down, you'll see um, she makes these amazing little fairy like paper doll, paper dolls, and paper doll images. So her paintings are a lot different than her collage work and. Um, other type of work. Um, but they're all beautiful. Her paintings are kind of seem to me to have a touch of Japanese but not totally Japanese. <laughs> and then her collage work and her little fairies um, she used to do icons, so you can see a touch of iconographic type. You can see a touch of that as well. I can't, I can't even describe how expressive her work is. I'm trying to grab to see if I have some kind of pocket here or something. Yes, I do. There's a little pocket. Let's see if I can clip that on there. Her work is so expressive. It's amazing. And and how different each medium is. I believe her paintings, she, I believe they were oils. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way with that. There we go. And I did that wrong. I meant to put that behind. Oh well, I didn't want that to show up. I wanted that between. But that's the way it's going now. It's okay. I can always glue something else on the back of there, but it doesn't bother me. And there's a cute little clip. So these are these are very whimsical. Of course you can do your um Use your own scrapbook papers. But as I said, when I I'm showing an inspiration, I like to uh, 
follow the inspiration as much as I can. Of course, everyone has to adapt. And as I said, I don't do scribbles. So these are scrappy scribble flowers. And then, oh, another tip. Um, how I do these little square letters. I take one of these, I'm sure you've all seen these, and I just stamp the entire thing <laughs> instead of making a word, and then I cut them out. And I also do that with these, these wooden, tiny wooden block type stamps. You can put as many as you want, wrap them with a rubber band, and you can get patterns. I also do that with my numbers. My only suggestion might be you might want to keep them as a full size, a bigger size sheet and cut them out as you go because otherwise, otherwise it's kind of like playing Scrabble. But I have all these left from Christmas so they're in a little envelope that when I need a little scrappy word that I wanted to put on there, that's what I do. Okay, where are we? 22. Keep this short. And I want to get back on my schedule so I had no idea I was planning this <laughs> I just got in a scrappy mood yesterday and that is what I came up with to spend my afternoon and I think that's going to look adorable little note card in this one. Who knows where it will end up, but it will be, will end up on something. And then I, as I said, I'm going to finish up this little pile, make these today, probably pops, I don't know how many I can part with. But I'll probably pop some in a little envelope for my daughter to use in her book. Okay, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.